Now we're going to talk about the Sun. The Sun is the center of the solar system. In fact, our solar system is defined as the Sun and everything that is bound to the Sun gravitationally. So everything in the solar system orbits the Sun. And the Sun is by far the largest object in the solar system. In fact, 98.6% of the mass of the entire solar system is in the Sun. So all of the planets and comets and asteroids and everything else orbiting the Sun accounts for less than 2% of the mass of the solar system. So the Sun is by far the biggest object. Take a look at this picture. This shows the Sun over on the left and then all of the planets there in the middle. And now the planets are not actually this close to the Sun. This picture doesn't give us an accurate view of the location of the planets uh, in relation to the Sun, but it gives an accurate view of the relative size. So you see Earth right here is pretty small compared to the Sun, even small compared to Jupiter. Jupiter is much bigger than the Earth, but pretty small compared to the Sun. And then um, these small planets out here. Pluto, remember, is no longer classified as a planet. It's what we call a dwarf planet. And there are other dwarf planets that we know about in the solar system as well. Ceres here is an asteroid. It's just a tiny little dot. You can barely see it right there. But this shows you visually that the Sun is clearly the largest thing in the solar system. Now the Sun is a fairly typical star. There are a lot of stars smaller than the Sun. In fact, most of the stars out there are smaller than the Sun. But some of the stars in, in the universe are much, much larger than the Sun. And I'm going to show you um, some pictures I found on a website. This is a website in the, in the UK, and it's called uh, Getting Things in Perspective. And this just goes through a series of pictures that, that are all designed to give you a sense of the relative size of things in the universe. So there you see Earth with the smaller planets, even though Pluto isn't considered a planet anymore. You see Earth is about the same size as Venus, and bigger than Mercury and Mars. And then this shows the small planets down there at the bottom. You see Earth, and then you see the larger planets, the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. The rings of Saturn aren't shown there, but you get an idea of the size of Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune compared to Earth down here on the bottom. And then if you scroll on down, you can see all of the planets compared to the sun. So the sun is huge compared to the, the planets, a little over a hundred times the diameter of Earth, or a million times the volume of Earth. And like I said, the, the sun is, is bigger than a lot of stars, but there are some other stars that are giant compared to the sun. If we scroll on down, we see the sun there on the left. And then Sirius, which is the brightest star in the sky, it's, it's the brightest star as seen from Earth. It's not really the brightest star in an absolute sense, but it's um, because of its proximity to Earth, it appears the brightest in the sky. There are stars brighter than Sirius, and certainly stars larger than Sirius. And in this picture, Jupiter barely appears. If you can read the text at the bottom there, it says Jupiter is about one pixel in size, and Earth is invisible at this scale. Now these stars that you see are more massive than the Sun, but they're, they're not as dense. The Sirius, for example, you see in the picture there, contains about twice as much mass as the Sun. But you see it's many times larger. You could fit a lot of suns inside Sirius as far as the volume goes. So Sirius is a lot less dense, and that's generally true for these large stars. They are much more massive, but they're also less dense. Uh, Pollux there is what we call an orange giant. It's a much larger star. And then you see that huge star, Arcturus, that's a red giant. A very, very large star, and they actually get even bigger than that. Let's scroll on down one more time. You see Arcturus there at the bottom. And then these other stars, including Betelgeuse and Antares, which are known as red supergiant stars. So they're absolutely huge. The sun, our sun in this picture, is about one pixel in size, and Jupiter which is much larger than the Earth, even Jupiter is invisible at this scale. So you get a sense for how massive stars can be when you go through this series of pictures. And if you want to find that site yourself, you can go to images.google.com, you see the images up here, and do a search for star sizes. And you see it shows up there over on the right.